everyone. Happy weekend. I really, really, really am sorry that I have been kind of uh, MIA on this page. Um, if you don't know me on a personal level, um, you may not know that I suffer from chronic migraines and I had recently seen a new doctor who put me on a new plan with some new meds that have made me really, really nauseous and a loss of appetite. So cooking has just not been something that I have really <laughs> wanted to do over the last two weeks, um, which was weird for me, so that's when I knew that the medication was definitely taking a toll. But the side effects have subsided, and I'm back, and I'm doing one of my favorite, favorite recipes for you guys today. So a few weeks ago, I posted a, a photo of a copycat version of a Chipotle salad um, that I always order when I go to Chipotle, and I had a lot of requests to do a couple of the recipes that I uh, kind of mini recipes that I do before I put my bowl together. So what I'm going to do for you guys today is my chicken recipe, my pico de gallo, and my cilantro lime rice. So let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I do my chicken. So um, the first thing that I really want you to understand is the type of chicken or the different parts of the, the bird that you use is really important. I think a lot of people want to just use chicken breast because it's easy and we cook with it a lot, but it can get really dry and it doesn't actually have a lot of flavor. So what I'm using today are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. This has a ton of flavor. You can overcook these a little bit and they don't dry out and they're awesome on the grill. And that is my second tip for you is I love to cook these chicken thighs in this rub on the grill. So I'm actually going to grill in the middle of winter on February 8th. <laughs> so bear with me, but um, this is the first part of this. So my rub today is going to be a combination of some hot and some salty and some sweet. And that is my third tip is I'm going to use light brown sugar. Light brown sugar is going to give it a caramelization as well as counteract that really uh, hot that you have with some of the other spices that we're gonna put in today. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my light brown sugar. I'm also going to use oregano, cumin, dried onion, it's kind of like minced dried onion, and I'm gonna use paprika, lots of that. And I'll put the different measurements of this on uh, the YouTube page. Chili powder, cayenne pepper. You can eliminate this if you don't like a lot of heat or uh, more if you need more. Uh, garlic powder, and then the kind of weird ingredient that I like to use, I bought this mistakenly and I've actually used it a lot, is dried cilantro. All right. And then to have this rub stick together to everything, you're gonna to want to use um, some sort of oil. So I'm gonna use probably about two or so tablespoons, maybe even three tablespoons of olive oil. I do have about a little under four pounds of chicken thighs here. It was a huge package from the grocery store, but like I said, people really love this chicken so the more I can make, the better. All right, so you wanna give this a nice quick stir. I already have this in a bowl that has a lid that I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the fridge for a few hours before I grill it. That's also a key to making sure that your chicken has lots of really good flavor is that you have given it a chance to uh, have this rub sink in. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more oil. Again, I want to make sure that this gets coated on all sides of my chicken thighs. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let this sit in our fridge for a few hours. I'm not having uh, anyone over for dinner until a little bit later, so this will be perfect to marinate in our fridge. Put this in there. recipe that I'm going to do is my pico de gallo and it's really only a few ingredients 
and um, so the tomatoes are going to be obviously your main ingredient. And I am using Roma tomatoes, and I have already chopped up five, but uh, excuse me, four, but I'm going to do five. And I left the last one to show you guys how I chop these up. But so I have the other four already in there. And I usually like to cut them in half and then cut them again into wedges. So I have four wedges total. I don't like to use the seeds in my pico de gallo. I think it gets a little too soggy. So I'm just going to cut the membrane and the seeds out. And then I do three long strips lengthwise, turn it towards me, and then cut them into about quarter inch cubes. I'll do that for the other three wedges. You can use any kind of tomato that you have on hand or that you like. I like the taste of Roma tomatoes, and I like that they are a little bit heartier and stay a little bit hard after I put everything in the bowl together. And even after a day or two, it's still, it's still intact. Okay, so get out all those seeds. I also like to use a serrated knife. It definitely cuts much easier through the skin of the tomato without bruising the tomato. Okay, last one. And you kind of want to make sure all of your cuts are about the same size. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and this and the rest of our bowl. Discard this. And really, the rest of this is pretty easy. So, I need a spoon. five Roma tomatoes. I have about a quarter cup of red onion that's raw and again it's pretty small dice and I have probably about a half cup of chopped cilantro. I'm only going to use half of this because the other half is for my cilantro lime rice but it's easier to cut it all at once and then we are going to add a little bit of lime juice. Grab a line. I saw this on the Food Network once. If you take a lime kind of in the palm of your hand and press down and roll, you kind of get the juice moving and you'll have a little bit more success with uh, getting all the juice out. So we're going to do the juice of one lime in this salsa. Okay. Just add a little bit of salt. Oops. And we'll stir this around. So you want to make sure that you make this pico a little bit ahead of time before you're going to serve it so it has a chance to have all the flavors kind of incorporate and marry together. And that is the easiest salsa you've ever made. All right, let's get a lid on this. What did I do with it? And get this in the fridge. All right, so the third thing that I'm going to show you today is a foolproof way of doing rice. And I have been making rice for years, but I just recently acquired an Instapot and I have found that it is a foolproof way to make rice. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, pressure cook my, my rice before I then put it together as cilantro lime rice, which is really just salt, lime juice, and cilantro. So what I have in the strainer is two cups of long grain white rice and I rinsed it under hot water until the water ran clear. And I have done rice both ways, but it seems to be less uh, sticky because I've rinsed out some of that. I'm also going to add two and a half cups of water. 
and a little bit of olive oil just because I don't want it to stick to the bottom of the Instapot and a little bit of salt. I'm going to give this a little stir. And we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure that it's on sealing. And we're going to pressure cook it for oops, three minutes. Once it comes up to pressure, then it'll cook for three minutes, and then we want to have it do a natural release, so I'm not going to touch the venting on the back, and we'll let it do a natural release for 10 minutes. So I will see you after all of that is complete. All right, so our rice is done. We're just going to add the juice of a lime, about a quarter cup or so of chopped cilantro, and salt to taste, and that is it. It's best served warm, but it's a, it reheats really great too. Just give this a stir. And really, then anything else on your Chipotle bowl is up to you. Sour cream, hot sauce, uh, black beans, corn, pinto beans, whatever. Um, I like to use Monterey Jack cheese, so I'll shred some of that later. And really then it's just about building it. So I hope that my little tidbits and advice help you to achieve the best coffee cat chipotle bowl uh, at home. So enjoy. We'll see you soon. I wanted to show you, ah, I can't talk today. Happy weekend. If you're like me and you're snowed in today, I Start over.